Bill, as a Christian, I know that you care deeply about the idea of, of uh, bringing God into the conversation in business. But could you share a little bit for this audience about how you do that, particularly in a secular environment? Sure. Um, but Service Master, we decided to be overt about it. And that really came from our, our founder, uh, Marion Wade, who in 1946 is when the company was first uh, organized as a corporation. And basically, Marion said, I cannot leave God in the pew on Sunday. I've got to bring him to work on Monday. That, 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 that's where he started out. Mm. And, uh, and then he saw the workplace as a ministry. And what ultimately came out of that was uh, a change in our mission statement as a company. And uh, our four objectives evolved to honoring God in all we do, help people develop, pursue excellence, and to grow profitably. And those first two objectives were end goals. The second two were means goals. And we carried those objectives right through the time of becoming a public company, being listed on the New York Stock Exchange, and being a global company. So um, they raised all kinds of questions. Uh, they, that's one of the benefit of those objectives, is the questions are raised, not only externally, but internally. Um, so it was right there out in front. Now, uh, because, because of those objectives and because of what was happening in our growth, because we were doubling in size every three to four years for over a 20, 20 year period, uh, the Harvard Business School decided to write some case studies on us. And uh, so when they taught those, they often would invite me out to participate. And I can remember this one time I got a question from a student in the back of the room. And she said, you know, Mr. Pollard, we've enjoyed the case study and what you're doing in Service Master, but I just don't understand. You must be offending people with that first objective. Can't you get everything you want done in the lives of people and embrace the broad scope of who people are with different beliefs, rather than introduce, and she used the word, religion. And uh, so I, I had to obviously respond to that question, and uh, when you have to, at Harvard, you have to give a reason for your response. So I, I said, you know, it's, uh, first of all, it's not religion. We're raising the question of God. Um, and, um, no, we can't, we can't take God out of uh, our objectives. But if for no other reason than for you to ask the question today, it's valid. Because the question of God is a valid question in life. How you respond to it is your choice. I believe God has made that your choice. But don't deny that living involves asking the question of God. You cannot be neutral. You're going to respond one way or the other to that question, and it's a valid question of life. So it seems like you're not allowing a tight separation between who I am as a person and what I am, who I am at business. That's right. It's, it, 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 it all comes together and, um, and in a variety of different ways. And you know, Al, we did not use that objective as a basis of exclusion. Uh, we had a simple principle. We paid based upon performance and we promoted based upon potential and faith did not enter that, that, that arena at all. Uh, but we recognize that different people, those of us that were Christians in leadership said, we recognize that different people with different beliefs are all part of the world that God so loved in John 3.16. Mm -hmm. you know, he didn't, he, he didn't love Christians. <laughs> he didn't love Christians and Jews. <laughs> he loved the world yeah. with all of its differences and diversities. Mm. Now, you also had to explain this to your executive staff, to your board. Um, I want to give you an opportunity to tell about a great book that you wrote. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so uh, uh, why don't you share a little bit about how you shared that with your board? Yeah. One of the things we did, uh, was, which was a responsibility of typically the CEO, is to open each board meeting. Uh, you know, as evangelicals, we might refer to it as devotional. We never, we never referred to it as a devotional. We referred to it as an opening thought. 
because we had a, a diversity on our board as well of, of belief. But in that, we would be discussing, the CEO would be discussing how the objectives, those first two objectives, was integrated with the second two objectives in an example that was happening in the business uh, and explain it to the board and said, this is how we made the decision in this particular case. Yeah. Mm.